Well, hey there, and this video describes how we're going to push the easy button on the outcome section of the Task Stream portfolio. I'm going to let you know everything you need to do for the current submission and the final submission, and then also let you know what you have to do for the next submission for the current one. Um, so you now have the option as you're working through to do the minimum amount of work or you can also do everything you need to do before the final submission. Your choice. Um, so here's the way it works. In the outcome section, click request comments on each item that you've submitted there. Um, don't, click don't click request all sections. Um, because you know that there, you probably know that there are a lot of sections in there that you haven't done any work in. So by you going through and finding every section that you've done something in, then I'll be able to see that easily. Um, that would mean that you would be clicking request comments on everything that's a high stakes submission. Um, you may also have other work in the portfolio that's not high stakes. Well, click request on that too. Um, second thing you need to do is you need to make sure you have at least two pieces of evidence under every outcome. That's going to be a requirement for the final submission. Uh, if you don't have two pieces of evidence now, that's where you can submit what you have thus far as the minimum, but it's a heads up that you've got to find other pieces of evidence to put in each section that doesn't have a minimum of two. That may be a surprise to you. Uh, so, like, especially under outcomes 9 and 10, sometimes people don't have anything there. They weren't required to do a high-stakes artifact in those sections. But you still have to have two pieces of evidence there. Well, it doesn't, evidence doesn't have to be from coursework, UAB coursework. What you may realize, especially if you look at outcomes 9 and 10, there's probably a, a lot of stuff from your actual teaching, either as a student teacher or full-time full teacher, that you could put in there. Like for professionalism, well, what can you do to show your professionalism based on your work with students or with other teachers in your building? And then the last thing is the My Progress sections. Um, at the final submission, your My Progress section should describe how you believe you have achieved proficient, in, a proficient initial performance under each outcome. Or you may decide that you are reaching emerging advanced. Either way, you describe the level you believe you've achieved, and then you overview the, the evidence in the section and how it shows that you've reached that level. So a little bit about the levels. Proficient initial is what we would expect from someone, an undergraduate, who is finishing student teaching successfully. That's a proficient initial performance. So emerging advance is often a level that fifth year students reach when they are, when they have been full time, teaching full time for a year or more. Often they reach a higher level. And in Task Stream, did you remember that the rubrics are in there? I think you have to click to see it, but there is a rubric that shows you what emerging advance is and what proficient initial is. So make sure you look at the rubrics as you decide which level you've hit. Keep in mind though, the My Progress sections don't have to be complete until your final submission. But if you want to go ahead and do them now and wrap up each the outcomes, that's fine and I'll look at them. Last thing, I should have said this before the My Progress sections, the last thing is every inch, every entry in the portfolio must have a reflection. So if you look back over your program, you'll probably see that at times when you turned in especially high stakes artifacts, your professors directed you to lock in a reflection. Uh, but you'll also see that there are probably some high stakes artifacts that are locked that don't have a reflection. Well, that's okay. You can't, don't worry about those sections being locked. Just go again to the My Progress section and enter a reflection and then make a note for which artifact it goes with. Faculty are used to the fact that some sections are locked and the, to expect to look for reflections in the My Progress section on locked artifacts. 
think that's everything you need to know. So the bottom line is every high stakes artifact needs to be in your portfolio and every outcome has to have a minimum of two pieces of evidence which can be fulfilled with high stakes or they can be fulfilled with additional um, work that you provide. And then the My Progress sections at the in the final portfolio will describe how you've attained at least proficient initial performance on the rubric for each outcome. Hope that all makes sense. Let me know what questions you have.